But first, we've got personal injury attorney Ken Riley. He's here to take a look at one of your email questions. And tonight's question comes from uh, Gray. And Gray writes in saying that my neighbor's dog bit my son. We didn't involve the police because they promised to pay for the medical bills and keep the dog in their backyard. It's been a month and they've, uh, they've yet to do either. Is it too late for me to do anything? So thank you, Gray. We appreciate uh, you writing in a question for us. So what do you say? It's not too late. I mean, you try to come to an agreement with your neighbors, but... I think that's a good thing. You know, I think it's also good to uh, have, a, when something like that happens, document it with a police report anyway. Uh, just have them come uh, out and do it. I know it's kind of imposing because it's your neighbor. Well, awkward feeling. It's awkward, but at the same time, um, you know, uh, a promise is, 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 is just that, a promise. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not said, written down. Said, yeah. yeah. And so, uh, and by the time a month goes by, here's the problem you might have. Uh, now maybe there were maybe there was some medical treatment and so there's some documentation of an injury but wounds heal and things like that uh, kind, of, kind of go away and, and so does evidence so what I would suggest is you do have two years uh, to do something uh, that being uh, file something in court but you can also file something with their homeowners insurance company uh, you just call them uh, make a claim hopefully your uh, your neighbor will cooperate with you and give you that insurance information so that you can uh, make that claim with the insurance carrier. But you do have two years to do something.